A key Biden administration student loan relief plan has been put on hold. Two federal judges in Kansas and Missouri halting parts of the administration's income-driven repayment plan, known as SAVE, until they rule on the cases. To discuss, we've got Yahoo Finance's very own Rick Newman here with more. Rick, what do, what do we know about this so far? State of chaos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the SAVE plan... Uh, as you mentioned, is income-driven repayment. So uh, you can have your payments reduced based on uh, a history of repayment and uh, based on your, your level of income. Um, so I, I'm not sure it's entirely clear how this legal action is going to affect the 5 million people who are uh, enrolled in this plan. Uh, um, and I think it just, it, so first of all, it doesn't end the litigation. They, right. they, they, put, they put injunctions in place pending the outcome of litigation. Uh, and it wasn't for the whole plan. They didn't give the plaintiffs everything they wanted. They gave them part of what they asked for. So uh, I, I'm not sure there's a bottom line here for borrowers. I think the best thing anybody can do is go to the government website that handles this. It's studentaid.gov. And right there is a button uh, to see if you qualify for debt relief and then sort of follow the prompts. Uh, and this is going to unfold over coming weeks and months. But I think at the broader picture here, Biden himself said, uh, he has said many times he doesn't, he's, he doesn't think the president, whether it's him or somebody else, has the authority to do this through executive order, that it requires Congress to pass a law that would put, uh, put debt relief into place and make it a matter of law rather than policy. And uh, I, I'm, I think the White House completely expected all of these legal challenges. Remember, the, the Supreme Court uh, last year shot down uh, Biden's overreaching, his overarching debt relief plan that would have um, would have canceled or re re reduced debt for almost all student borrowers. So the Supreme Court canceled that. Uh, we have now have other courts canceling parts of what Biden is trying to do. And uh, we're, I, I think this is, I think we're going to see just ongoing legal challenges here. The Biden campaign, they had talked about this even before taking office, yep. campaigned on it. Uh, and now it seems like for every year during the administration, we've continued to see more of an effort to push student loan debt forgiveness. How do we expect this to come up now that the campaigning is re beginning all over again? <laughs> who, I mean, the honestly, who knows? Tonight? I mean, so just to briefly go back to 2020. So Biden was not the foremost advocate of debt relief. I mean, yeah. we had Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren right. say, basically saying forgive all student debt. Um, and there's like oh, well over one trillion, I mean, tr trillion dollars. I mean, we're talking about a lot of money here. Um, and Biden said, no, I don't think we can go that far. He said, I, I might do some modified. So what did Biden did try to do is re uh, forgive up uh, 10,000 for many borrowers and then up to 20,000 for some other borrowers. That's what the Supreme Court shot down. Mm -hmm. I think the Biden campaign would say now, as it says before, this means we need to elect Democrats. We, we need to have a clean sweep of Democrats uh, in the White House and in Congress so that we can try to pass this as a law and get this done. But worth pointing out, um, we did have a clean sweep by Democrats in the first two years of Biden's administration. In 2020. That's right. Uh, Democrats controlled both houses of Congress during Biden's first two years, and Biden could not get student debt relief done then. I mean, this is not, this is controversial. I mean, whether this is a good idea. I mean, a lot of people who say, if you're going to commit uh, and we're, again, lots of money here. If you're going to commit $500 billion or a trillion dollars of uh, government money to some kind of social aid, this is not the best way to target it. Better to target at uh, working moms, for example, um, child care aid, um, early uh, Head Start, you know, early childhood education. You get more bang for the buck that way. Right. I mean, this act, this does actually affect its, its, uh, its aid for higher income people relative to the whole population. But this fight is just, I, I mean, this fight could just go on in perpetuity because uh, I think uh, it is a big problem for a lot of people who just cannot get out, out from under the amount of debt they have. They want some help, but it's hard getting the help delivered. Yeah, we'll see how it comes up on the debate stage. And studentaid.gov. Yeah. <laughs> follow that, you know, bookmark that and follow it if you're a student loan borrower. See if you qualify. Yep. Rick Newman, thanks so much. Thanks, Brad. Appreciate it.